going to um, top up the um, coolant for my 2010 CB1000R okay so this is the bike so for this we're gonna have to remove this flaring to get access to that for that we're gonna need this my macro um, tools all right so we're gonna need one of that plus the extension extension just happened to be in the bottom of this come on extension get out of it All right, all right, okay. All right, and then we're gonna uh, be needing this one. And the one there. That one. Okay. All right, so I have to uh, you see that right there right there we have to loosen that one so that we can get into the as you can see I'm loosening it up right, I'm pretty sure it's quite loose now Can use my hand. Okay. All right. So we managed to undo that one. Now inside here. Somewhere over here, there's a lock holding this, so we have to pry it open. So for this, so it's over there somewhere. It's over here. So I can feel it with my finger. It's just up here. So all you gotta do is push it up. So also the thing there is holding it, so you might wanna. Don't wanna, you don't wanna break that. Okay, now you can just push. There you go. So now it's out. Okay, so that is the coolant bottle over there. So for this one here, there's another lock down there somewhere. So I'm not completely this. Um, undoing the whole thing okay so I'm just gonna leave this partially out like that and then I'm gonna have to remove that we have to lift that this I'm assuming is this one here 8 millimeter let's see if I'm right Oh yeah. Now we move on to the next one. Okay. Don't wanna damage the tank. Tank paint is more expensive than this bolt. Okay, I have to completely remove it. Uh, make sure you remove this including the washer so I've done this last week my first time that's the reason why I know which one goes first and which one comes out first okay so 
you wanna remove the tank oh we're not gonna fully removing the tank though we are only gonna lift it up a little bit so in this side we have to undo this as well so that we can lift it up okay so same thing as the other one unclip on the side and then push pry it up there you go now it's out For this one here, we don't need to take off that thing anymore. But it might be safer to take it out. No need to take it off since we're only doing the battle for um, coolant. But yeah, nation of the video. So we're just gonna remove this part as well. So that nothing gets damaged. Now we put that in the same place. So that will be partially pry out. Okay. Now, next, we're gonna have to remove, loosen up a bit this part over here. So we're gonna need the key for the bike. For us to remove the pillion, which is this. There's a little um, hole over here where we insert the key. Okay. And then once you do that, should. There you go. Alright, now it's out. So that's out. So we're gonna have to remove this so that we can take this out. Okay. We're gonna have to find our hex key. Right now, what's left to do is to partially loosen that part so that we can lift up the tank. So for us to do that, there's a um, thing on the other side. Next step to remove that, to loosen that is to remove this. So I already done it, which is that one in hex key. Remove that and then undo this side. Only one clip there. It's not actually a clip, it's more of a um, thing. So now we're gonna have to grab number 10. Yes, that's, there you go. Oh, this number 10 will loosen it up. There you go. You don't need to remove it, just loosen it up, okay? Just enough space um, for you to lift the tank up, see? I'll show you. Now the tank goes up and down. Okay? So I'm using this wooden block to uh, hold it. <laughs> to hold the tank up. Um, I'm gonna okay. Hold it up, and we'll see later. I'm gonna use the wooden block.
lock is holding it together. So as you can see, yeah, state of the art technology right there. Yeah, holding it. Now this is the coolant um, tank, so it's in the lower position at the moment. So I'm gonna top it up up to there. All right. To put it back, just reverse the whole thing that we did.